PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Great to see you here again. Hey, I've been playing with my new Hyundai plasma cutter for the last couple of weeks. I've had it for about two weeks, two and a half weeks, and I thought I'd just run it through its paces and see what the thing does before I did a review video. Over the last few days, guys, I've been cutting a lot of rebar with it. Now, this machine's designed to cut about 10 millimeters, which is about this thick. So what I want to do today, guys, is push this machine past its limits, see if it can cut 30 mil solid bar. What do you reckon? Yeah! Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And let's see if my latest plasma cutter can do the business. Now, out of about the 15 machines that I've reviewed so far, I'd say this would be one of my top three, guys. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I've had a really bad run of bad junk that I wouldn't even wish on my worst enemy. But this one here is starting to just push the rankings back up again. So let's turn it on and see what she does. Right guys, we've got 50 amps here. Of course I'm running it on 220 volt. You're only going to get 35 amps if you run it on 110 volt. I may actually do some tests cutting on 110 volt in the next video and see if there's actually any difference between what you can cut. But so far guys, it's looking pretty good if you ask me. So what I do guys, when I'm cutting rebar, I always take the guide off it because you can't get the torch head close enough to what you're cutting. So this is just my personal preference. So take the guide off it. Some of them are really tight guys, so just take it off if you can like that. Wow, that was tight. Now as you can see guys, I'm running at the full 50 amp and my post time is going to be about 2 seconds because we're only cutting rebar so we'll, the cut should be relatively quick so we shouldn't need so much air to cool the consumables off. Right, oh, guys remember to put your earth clamp as close as you can to whatever you're cutting like so. Let's see if she'll cut it. This is about the maximum it should cut. Piece of cake, guys. Let's see if we can get it to cut something bigger. Right, yeah, guys, this piece of bar here is 15 millimeters, which is five millimeters over what the machine should be able to cut. So let's see if we can cut this little bugger. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Well, how do you complain about that, guys? That is pretty awesome, I reckon. Now we've got this piece of solid bar, guys. This is about 23 millimeters. So we are way up what the machine should be able to cut now. So let's give this a crack, see if we can cut this little one. Ready, right, guys, there's no way we should be able to cut through this. Right, let's give it a go. <laughs> yeah, it took a little bit longer, guys, but we cut through it. Right, yeah, guys, the only thing that I could find that was close to 30 mil that was solid was my um, wheel brace for my truck. So here goes. Let's see if we can whack this off. Yeah! Who needs a wheel brace anyway, guys? Right, yeah, let's give this a go. There we go, guys. 
So guys, what do you reckon? 30 millimeters. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's the trouble when I start cutting things in my workshop. I start cutting things that I shouldn't be cutting up. Anyway, I have to get myself a new truck wheel brace because I don't want to be getting flat tires and not being able to change them. Mind you, to tell you the truth, I get the guys out to change them for me. I'm getting too old to lift great big truck tires around anymore. Just as well, eh, if I go cutting my tools up. Anyway, guys, would I recommend this machine? Absolutely. This would be one of my top three best ones so far. The cost is about $240, and I reckon it's awesome. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. If you want to see a real disastrous machine that I reviewed, check up there. I'll put a link up there for you. See you later, guys. Bye.